Hello and welcome to another Blender Know How tutorial. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to learn about the um, field of view and how we can increase it and increase the distance and also uh, like the focal point and then also to increase the area in which it is in focus, which is important. So those are the two things we're going to focus on today. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to need this cube and just to make it a little easier to see what's going on I'm going to add a modifier and add a subdivision surface. This gives it a lot of points that we can see like the different light directions like the lightnesses of each polygon. Does that make sense? Okay so I'm gonna hit 1 on my keyboard and then hit 8 and 4. Okay I should also turn on my screencast key so you can see what, what's going on here. So down here in you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to hit uh, Control alt 0 from this perspective and it will place the camera in this location. Now I'm going to hit G and place it in the bottom right uh, rule of thirds um, crossing point. I don't know exactly what that is called but yeah in the rule of thirds you can divide the camera up into three and place it in this cross right here. Now what we're going to do is I'm just going to duplicate it by hitting Shift D and that will just give us distance to have the field of view um, so we can see the field of view. On my preview I had a little bit more method to my madness but I'm just duplicating these across and you can do it however you want. I'm guessing that your project is different than mine. So um, I'm gonna move out of this. So a couple things you want to do here if you click on the camera you want to first turn on depth of field and then you want to go to viewport display and click on show limits. This is one of the most helpful tools for um, focal points and uh, depth of field. So you can actually see this cross. And you can't see this. Well, I guess you can see the cross here, but you can't really see too much information from this angle. But uh, you, what you want to do is you can drag that and put that exactly where you want it to be. So I'm going to click 7 to go to the top view. And I want it to be right in line with this, the front of this. So looking pretty good there. And if you want to get even more exact, if you want a, a certain distance, this right here is how you would change that. Um, so nothing too complicated. So now if we um, switch from EV to cycles, because I believe this only works on cycles right now. I, I could be wrong. Um, if I am, post in the comments. Correct me. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hit F12 to render this out. And you can see there's, it's not blurry, it's it's dim lighting, but just to, just to fix that, let me hit 7. I'm going to move the lighting, just fix the lighting a little bit. Okay, oh, got to keep going. So just to fix the lighting, that should fix it. If I hit F12 and render that out. Yeah, it, it really isn't looking blurry back here like it should. I mean, it is a little bit, but um, usually when you think of, uh, the, like the focal point and the distance in which it blurs, um, you would think that this would be more blurry, and we can fix that. So that depends on your camera. And in reality, it it isn't supposed to be blurry in this situation because you're only looking at the distance from here to here. Which, if we take a measure tool, we're only looking at like 33 meters. So it's like maybe a quarter just like it's a third of a football field so nothing uh, yeah it's not that's not that far a distance so let's just say we, we have like a one of those macro lenses that does that we can change that now so click on the on the camera and then click on the camera it's tools here or the, uh, yeah and then let's go to the aperture and if we decrease this f-stop, like I'm just going to put it at like 0.1 for now, just to show you the difference. And I hit F12 to render this. That's what that. That's that's how we get that. So you may not want this. This is like a super macro lens. Most I don't, I don't know that cameras even have this small of an f-stop. Um, they probably do, and, but I I don't have one, and I'm sure they are expensive because that is a very small f-stop. So, um, 
you may not want it that low. You can increase this somewhere in there and it will give you those results. I'm going to also um, make sure that GPU, yeah, okay, GPU compute and then go to this. So if I hit into the camera, you can see that now it's blurry just a little bit, but I can decrease this and it'll become a little more blurry. So you can kind of do that. That's uh, Those are the main two fills that you'll be working with, this distance and this distance. Also, if you want, you can always just click on this and it will just adjust the distance to that. The problem with this is it'll adjust it to the center. So I don't, I rarely use this because I find that the distance I can get a little bit more fine-tuned. Um, because I don't really want it in the center of the, of what I want, I usually want in the front because you don't see the center, you see the front of it. So. Um, those are the main ones you'll be using. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, post them in the comments, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and we'll see you next time on Blender Know How.